Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 29th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had another one of those days of uncertainty, a little bit of chopping around, unable to break through resistance levels. But this morning we seem to have a little fire in the belly to uh, try and pop this market up. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up and get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here this morning. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Taking a look here at the diamonds, as you can see, we've got a, a little bit of rally coming in this morning. And it, for those of you that have been paying attention to where I have these lines drawn, you probably will have realized that I had it down here yesterday. And that's where we were testing those resistance levels in the chart. Now this morning we're trying to break through that level. So I've lifted that up here just a little bit here this morning. And um, looking at that little bit stronger resistance area in the chart because we're trying to get something going here. Now that doesn't rule out the possibility that we could reject this res resistance in the chart this morning. So you'll want to kind of keep that in mind. We've got kind of a wide area here of resistance. But what's going on? Well, first off, we um, heard that Alibaba is going to be breaking up their company into six different units. Um, and boy, that got everybody excited because that relieves a lot of the... Um, uh, you know, tech giant um, regulation issues out there, um, you know, among um, countries around the world. And um, in fact, uh, Tennyson actually rallied as well with the idea that maybe they're going to break up and do that same kind of thing. And I, and I wonder kind of wonder what that's going to mean for our big tech giants. Um, if this is going to make everyone so happy in the market, um, what does that mean for uh, Apple and Microsoft? And uh, are we going to start seeing those break up in the near future? Um, could be an interesting trend that could be set up here. Um, let's keep a close eye on these today. Now, I don't know if that is the only thing that's really inspiring the market. I do know that bonds are pulling back just a tiny little bit here this morning, ever so slight pullback here on bonds this morning, also helping out, but we're getting a pop. Now, if you remember, I talked about the possibility of an end of quarter um, a window dressing, a short squeeze possible coming into play by the end of this month. And maybe that might be the bigger portion here that could get things going. So watch for that possibility. If we see that end of quarter activity in here, we've got a good start this morning with the pump up. Um, it's possible we could squeeze some of those short positions this morning and maybe even break this downtrend here. So if those bulls find inspiration today and can push through, well, maybe we can push up here and test this resistance level. And that'd be a big point move here for the Dow. Um, certainly could not rule that out. If those bears, however, find inspiration on the day, maybe a retest down here on the low of yesterday. And if that were to fail, then we've got a really big point move to test lower here in the market. I think right now, honestly, with the idea of um, end of quarter coming into play, I think I really think they're they're going to try and uh, push this market higher here. Um, we'll see. Um, of course, the banking contagion, if that creeps back up, if something else comes in, we know um, um, uh, Schwab is running into um, 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 some major issues. And so if the Schwab um, um, 
uh, bank starts to falter, um, that of course could really create some more of, of that contagion out there in the market. But watch that closely. And here technically, if we look at the diamonds, you can see we're holding on to that 200 day moving average. So rally back up into here um, doesn't really change anything. Notice that that 50 day moving average is declining here. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our SPY and I'll try to speed up here just a little bit. I spent a lot of time on that explanation. Um, SPY, SPY also making a move here this morning, trying to pop up into some resistance here in the chart. So we've got a little bit of price resistance if I slide that up and kind of look at some of those wicks and things across in here. Um, probably just a little bit higher than I originally marked. So pushing up here to test some resistance here in the chart this morning on the spy the good news here um as we were have been kind of resting and pulling back and fighting against this downtrend area in the chart well notice that we never broke this little upside trend in here so we're trying to push through and challenge some of those upside resistance levels here in the chart and that's largely going to be lifted i think by um by the qqq we'll look at that in a second so if those bulls find in inspiration today i think um right in here there's a, a little bit of resistance i think we could push all the way up into here to test that um, high of uh, the other day here where we had that big shot to the upside and then reversal so watch that carefully in here as long as we don't have any other issues crop up in the market to worry worry things i, I really think there's a a pent-up desire to buy something here um, heading into the end of quarter now that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to change the overall um, concern here in the market as we head toward earnings but we'll want to watch that closely now if we take a look at um, if the bears find inspiration maybe a little press down into this area here nice little support area in that chart and if that were to break then we come on down into here let's take a look at our qqq qqq fired up a little bit here this morning trying to lift up here on that news uh, from alibaba we also had mu report earnings yesterday and kind of a mixed result here on mu um, as a matter of fact um, after the bell um, we really danced around in here an awful lot on MU trying to move up and then pulling back. It was kind of an interesting um, uh, dance in there. But MU also getting a little bit of lift here this morning, maybe being a little helpful here to the QQQ. So watch that closely. Um, if those bulls find inspiration, then once again, I'm going to suggest that they run up here and maybe test that resistance level in the chart. If they can push through there, well, obviously, then uh, we've got a bullish case here for the market. I want to point out, though, that we still have a trend here that we might push up into here and then still consolidate out here toward the trend, remembering that the big uncertainty coming is going to be the beginning of second quarter earnings. And um, we're going to see the big banks start those second quarter earnings. Um, BlackRock is going to re kick things off on the 13th of next month. So you can see we could have a period of time here um, it, with uncertainty as we wait for those um, earnings reports to begin. If those bears find inspiration, well, the thing that I would look for is a retest of yesterday's low first. If that holds, we're in good shape. If that doesn't hold, then maybe a push down to test some additional levels of support in the chart and maybe even a test of this upside trend so watch that closely on the qqq now the old iwm continues to struggle here quite a little bit but we may actually sneak out from underneath this downtrend break here this morning on this pre-market pump up we'll see if that holds through the day but if we get through that i want you to realize that we've got a pretty strong resistance level up here in that chart that could stop us from moving on higher so if those bears find in or bulls find inspiration i would look for this region up in here 
for the next resistance level in that chart to be tested. If those bears find inspiration, I'm going to be looking maybe back down in here for a little bit of a test um, for some support. And notice that that's a little bit of a wide area too, could be down into here on that chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Boy, I think it's been kind of interesting while the market has been really light volume and very indecisive, we continue to see the fear pull back in the market. We're not scared at all, which is very, very odd to me, um, the way the VIX has been acting here. Um, but watch that closely. We've got to give this to the bulls. They're saying they just don't care. They're, they're happy. Um, no fear here um, in the market. So as we continue to push back down, let's watch this right in here. We could test this trend here this morning and maybe break this down even further with the big gap up and maybe start coming down in here to test some of these support levels here in the VIX. Now, to me, that's a little bit of complacency showing up here in the market, considering the banking contagion and issues that we still have out there to address. But there's the case. Um, the, the traders don't seem to have any fear here in the market. Um, if we take a look at our uh, T2122, well, our T2122 kind of finished the day right, right in the middle. Um, here's our 50% area or our mid area of T2122. So remember, T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market is going to go. It just tells us when we've reached those major pressure points. And sitting right here in the middle in the big gap up this morning, what I would expect is that we're likely to see T2122 up here in the bearish reversal zone um, here today. Now, if they fire off a short squeeze, we could really press this up to the upside. And I do think there is a possibility for that. It's like we've got this pent up desire to push um, to the upside. So watch that closely. If we press up here and we get kind of stretched out, well, that's how we can get one of these days where we had that big upside move that was in the market last week, pressed up and then it completely reversed. So watch carefully for those possibilities. I'm not saying that's going to occur, I'm just saying that the possibility could occur if we stretch all the way up here again into that bearish reversal zone. Remembering we still have quite a few issues to be resolved. If those bears come up with some reason to reverse this um, enthusiasm this morning, then keep in mind we've got a big downside opportunity as well that could easily be explored by those bears. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, the percentage of stocks holding above the 40-day moving average yesterday really didn't get much going here. As a matter of fact, all we really did was come back up here and test resistance in the chart. This morning, this reversal overnight, this big positiveness coming in here this morning, could change that and we could finally break that resistance here in um, the, the percentage of stocks above their 40 day. So watch that closely and that would relieve some of this um, kind of oversold pressure. And you can see that maybe a rally up into here, around 32% of the stocks above their 40 day would be the next resistance level in that chart. So watch that closely. Then if we take a look at our T2107, kind of the same thing, whoops, um, kind of the same thing occurred here in T2107, the percentage of stocks above their 200 day we really didn't do much yesterday. We just rallied into a price resistance level here in the chart, kind of hung out, didn't get much done um, on the day. So if this bullishness can translate into the open and push on up, maybe we start pressing into some of these higher resistance levels in the chart to see if we can test and relieve some of that oversold pressure here in the market. And I'd put maybe up there around 40 plus percent uh, 45% maybe even with a good strong push that uh, of stocks that could cross back above their 200 day moving average, particularly if they can fire off some kind of a short squeeze. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 
obviously not giving us much information here because volume has been dropping like a rock over the last uh, three days of trading uh, with this uncertainty of it here in the market. And um, that does seem a little bit curious to me that as volume um, is dropping so hard, nobody seems to be fearful of that at all. So just watch that carefully. And that's across the board, just really, really strong pullback here in volume of the market as we've been kind of resting it. And I think that may be a little bit of a hint. If we can't press this out of these resistance levels today, it may be that hint of that uncertainty that we could just see a more of a consolidating resting pattern as we wait for earnings to kick off here in a couple of weeks. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot on here to move us a bunch. We've got those mortgage application numbers that will be out here just shortly. Um, keep an eye on those. They haven't been really affecting the market all that much here recently. So watch that. We're going to have some Fed talk out here today. Um, that certainly could move us around. We'll want to watch that closely, remembering that Morgan Stanley put out a report yesterday saying that if you believe that the Fed is going to now suddenly cut or pivot, um, Morgan Stanley believes you're wrong on that, that they're going to continue to apply pressure to resolve this issue of inflation. So um, don't be surprised if he comes out and sounds hawkish um, this morning here at, at 10 a.m. Then we've got um, pending home sales. We know that that has been problematic for us. We've been seeing um, some housing numbers diminishing um, here in the market um, as consumers are feeling quite a bit of strain here but watch that closely we'll, we'll want to watch that pending home number here this morning and for some reason I'm not getting that to um, the website slow here this morning they're not um, telling me what that consensus is just yet so we'll wait and see if that comes up and then we've got a petroleum status number here this morning we'll want to be paying attention to that petroleum status number um, we've seen oil prices over the over this week creeping back higher so watch that closely here today we've got some bond auctions later on this afternoon to be paying attention to the survey of business uncertainty might be interesting but not likely to move the market and then we have this next thing here coming up in the market on Thursday there we go um, as you can see um, they're looking for a 0.1 on pending home sales it was 8.1 last time that would be a substantial de decline in those pending home sales so you'll want to pay attention to that on that number that could inspire a little bearishness um, if that number or happened to be missed to the negative side then take a look right here um, this may be one of the reasons why the market has been a little bit pensive lately and that's that gdp number coming up here um, on Thursday. So you want to be paying attention to that and those jobless claims and they continue to be a problem for the Fed on those jobless claims. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, a few stocks that could be setting up for today. Um, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video we're getting closer and closer to 30,000 subscribers thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel I really appreciate it if you click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow as well and I apologize I got so busy yesterday talking about different things in, in the trading room I never got over to answer those questions yesterday Please forgive me for that. I will be on that case today answering those questions. By the way, I just realized that I forgot to um, to mention the notable reports for today um, on that earnings calendar. Um, let's take a quick look at those. Um, since there is no blog today, I was having a, we were having a little bit of a website problem this morning. I didn't, I really don't have the time to do the blog this morning. I'll run through these really quickly here. Um, 
and um, you'll have that list of notables right here. Take a look, um, um, Blue, Bluebird will be reporting today. Um, CentOS will be reporting today. Looks like we got a nice little bullish pop there. Um, C-O-N-N reporting today, ouch, that one hurt. Um, we've got um, Fuller that's going to be reporting. P-A-Y-X might be an interesting one. Um, nice pop up here this morning in the pre-market on that one. SMTC also reporting today. Um, SPWH reporting today. We're going to hear from Restoration Hardware today. We've got UNF on that list today. And VRNT. Um, those would be the notables for today. So let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up for today. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you're doing your own due diligence and you're watching these very, very closely um, for these potential whipsaws that can still occur here in the market. Make sure they fit your personal trading style, that they work for you. Um, and your risk tolerance. First one I want to bring up today is Pan W. Um, Pan W. I uh, Palo Alto. I put an alert on this. Notice that we're testing some resistance levels here in the chart. This has been moving in a very strong upside trend, as you can see, moving on here, and we may be close in here from pushing on through on Palo Alto. Now, keeping in mind, 200 can be a very natural, uh, big round numbers. 200 can be a natural resistance area in the chart, but this is a nice little pattern setup. Stop loss would be under here if that triggers my alert. Well, I might just um, look for an entry into that. So watch that closely here. Um, certainly cybersecurity is a big issue and with um, um, Russia's, um, shall I say, uh, dissatisfaction with the United States right now, uh, they are a major risk for us on cyber attacks. So watch that closely. Palo Alto might be just, just the thing that fits the bill. Take a look at um, Spotify here. Spotify is also setting up in that pattern. Nice little upside move going on here. Nice little trend. We're trying to hold on to this price support possibly be able to push on through that level. Notice right in here, broke through that resistance here in the chart. So Spotify that is something I would be keeping a close eye on. You might want to keep an eye here on Roku. Now this has been struggling. It's been struggling, struggling, struggling along this consolidation area here in the chart. And as a matter of fact, we're kind of putting in a bit of a wedging pattern right in here. We're going to have to find out if it's going to resolve itself to the upside or to the downside. But watch that closely. Um, um, if we can hold in here, there may be that opportunity that pops on through there on Roku. And a day like today, where we're feeling all that bullishness in the market, maybe uh, today's the day to make that happen. You might want to keep an eye on this CRWD. I really like the way this had a nice little resting pullback in here, pulling back here into trend, um, trying to find a little price support there. I would look for that next bullish opportunity in here. What's nice about this uh, stock is it's been very consistent. Um, in its moving, um, it, it hasn't been the real jumpy stock. And notice this 50 day moving average running, rolling right back up. We've got a 200 up here, which would be a reasonable target up here on CRWD. Keep an eye on that. That's looking just pretty darn good. Um, as you guys know, I've been keeping a pretty close eye here on AMD. AMD um, yesterday had a little bit of uh, selling pressure that came in here as the queue sold off, but uh, bouncing back up here this morning. So watch that closely. We may still have to rest this out here toward the trend a little bit, but I'd keep an eye on AMD. That is certainly a bullish chart and that opportunity that could move on higher. Boy, I got to tell you guys, with the dollar uh, showing a little bit of weakness this morning, UUP pulling back, um, let's keep a close eye on gold. 
Gold made a nice move yesterday, popping up this morning. Gold futures are flat um, at the moment here. But if the dollar weakens and that uncertainty about our currency continues to creep up here, keep an eye here on that potential. Gold could start perking on up to the upside here. I think it honestly needs a little bit more rest, but watch that closely. Um, um, here in that chart and I would be really interested in PHYS which is a physical gold you actually are buying um, a piece of phys physical gold it's stored um, with the company and after you own enough of it they'll even send you the gold that you have purchased um, if you're interested so keep a keep an eye on that this is a pretty good looking chart you might also want to be keeping an eye on things like silver um, SLV also had a nice day yesterday a um, little bit flat on the futures here this morning on this watch that closely with bonds pulling back or the bond yields pulling back this morning might be worth keeping an eye on TLT um, something like BND um, these have been trying 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 to break through some resistance levels in the chart just haven't been able to get up through there if you look at this however on a longer term and that's how I'm actually trading this so I do have a bias on this for full disclosure but I'm trading this for a longer term I've seen this trade happen many many times before when um, we finally um, resolve some of these issues we we will see bonds rally and we saw what happened um, just in the banks everyone rushed back into bonds because they were looking for some safety and security if this banking contagion continues then watch for bonds to continue to increase um, so watch that carefully in here we might catch a little higher low in here push on higher particularly if that dollar continues to weaken so watch that um, carefully so with that guys i want to wish you all a fantastic day i'd be a little bit careful today watching for whipsaws um, as we gap big this morning and we're gapping right up into um, resistance areas of the charts but we also have that possibility of that little bit of um, end of quarter window dressing that could trigger a short squeeze so be on guard for that potential as well i want to wish you all a fantastic day and great results in your trading thanks so much for listening and being here i do truly appreciate it and i will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day, everyone.